Hi JD, it's September 7th, 2018, the first week of school. Here are the announcements. School picture days are Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Rambunctious Literary Magazine meets today in R34. The Mock Trial team meets Wednesdays during activity period in room B13. New members are always welcome. Become one of the Ram and Barristers for 2019. Drama Club will be holding the first meeting of 2018-2019 on Tuesday, September 11th, during activity period in B15 with Mr. Berger. We will elect officers and discuss plans for the year. All are welcome. Anyone who took a summer reading bingo card and have it filled out, regardless of whether or not you actually run enough to get a bingo, should return the card to Mrs. Ponick or drop it in the envelope on the library doors by Wednesday, September 13th. Names will be drawn in a few different categories for gift cards of the winner's choice, Friday, September 14th. Mrs. Ponick will visit study halls next week to review the expectations for when you're in the library. Until then, library will be closed to students for study hall. The high school went through quite a change this summer, undergoing massive renovations. Places that have been renovated include the auditorium, the large group room, both the large and small cafeterias, in the student bathrooms in the red and blue halls, and at the four corners. The renovations provide a newer, more modern feel for students as they get ready for the upcoming school year. These images are from Wednesday, August 29th. Although they were not ready at that point, these projects were complete and ready for the start of school. We are looking forward to the positivity project being a part of our day here at JDHS. If you would like to contribute to spreading the positive messages that so many benefit from, then please see Mr. Gasparini, Mrs. Moore, or Ms. Rushford. There are so many ways to get involved. All JDHS fall sports teams are back in full swing. JDHS boys golf and girls tennis teams began their seasons on Monday, August 27th. Girls tennis are 3-1 with wins over ESM, Central Square, and Cortland, and a loss to Auburn. While boys golf started off their season 4-0 with wins over Cortland, Oswego, ESM, and Fulton. JDHS girls soccer starts off their season 3-0 with wins over ESM, Cortland, and Central Square. Boys soccer opened their season with a loss over ESM. They have tied with Cortland and B Central Square. JDHS girls volleyball also began the 28th with their game against Skinny Atlas, losing 3-0. They were also defeated by FM 3-0. JDHS football started their season off in the Carrier Dome against the Sequoia Valley following 28-19. JDHS boys volleyball will begin their season on September 11th against Living Word Academy. JDHS boys and girls cross country begin their season on Saturday, September 8th at Chinango Invitational. Good luck to all our fall sports teams as they begin their promising seasons. This summer has been a busy one in the news. The French national team won the 2018 World Cup, defeating Croatia 4-2. The United States did not qualify for the Cup this year. Controversy surrounding the Trump administration has grown over the summer after the arrest of former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and Trump's personal lawyer Michael Cohen. 35 people have been indicted as a result of Special Counselor Robert Mueller's investigation into the Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. The Catholic Church has been rocked by a scandal as more reports of widespread sexual abuse perpetrated by members of the clergy have surfaced worldwide. Some have alleged that corruption and cover-up have reached to the very top of the church's hierarchy. The state of Hawaii has faced both a hurricane and a volcano this summer, which has devastated the residents. residents excuse me. The country saw yet another mass shooting this summer, this time in Jacksonville, Florida. The shooting occurred at a gaming tournament, killing two and injuring ten. Legendary singer Aretha Franklin, who was dubbed the Queen of Soul during her career, passed away on August 16th at the age of 76. We also lost an American war hero this August. The longtime senator from Arizona and 2018 Republican presidential candidate John McCain passed away after a hard-fought battle with brain cancer. McCain was an Air Force pilot who was shot down during the Vietnam War. He was a prisoner by the North Vietnamese. His actions uh, imprisoned, while in prison saved the lives of many American troops.